Welcome to episode number 43 of the ABCs from God, the truth about being Christian. Today's show is entitled, How to Stand Up Against the Devil. In last week's show, we shared how to discipline your sons. Welcome and thank you for joining us today. Let's begin with our joke time. One day, the devil challenged the Lord to a baseball game. Smiling, the Lord proclaimed, you don't have a chance. I've got Babe Ruth, Mickey Mantle, and all the greatest players up here. Yes, laughed the devil, but I have all the umpires. Well, doesn't it feel like the devil and his demonic fiendish friends have seem to have all the power in this world? We are all living in a fallen world, and, and that does mean that currently our societies are infested with sinful people. What does the Almighty God of this universe have to say about sin? Bible quote. From the first book of John, chapter 3, verse 8. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. And how do we stand against sin, the devil, in this world? Well, before I answer this question, there are those of you who currently don't read your Holy Bible on a daily basis. And you, like I used to, may be justifying your lack of getting to know the God of the Bible, reading the Bible, because you believe 100% you are a good person. And being this wonderful, okay, maybe not so wonderful, but good person, you believe that your good deeds make you that way. Okay, God. I mean, I mean, sure, you're doing good deeds as a form of loving your neighbor, which God does espouse, but you are missing the main ingredient in love, actually knowing God. And, and look, as you read his word, join his church and better understand the holiness, the sacredness, and the purity of God, suddenly you become aware of what being good in God's eyes really is. This is where all of my sins hit me in the face all at once. The epiphany that in God's eyes, I was a dirty, filthy, despicable sinner, not worthy to ever be in his holy presence. I pray that you too have the revelation from God that you are a sinner. And with this label, you are not good. On the contrary, you are dead. Bible quote. From the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 1 to 3. And you were dead in your offenses and sins in which you previously walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, and of the spirit that is now working in the sons of disobedience. Among them we too, all previously, lived in the lust of our flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the rest. So there's only one way to stand up to the devil, to break from sin. Carrying it on from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 4 to 9. But God, being rich in mercy because of his great love, with, with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our wrongdoings, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly places, in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show the boundless riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Well, I like this clause of no boasting for, for us prideful, self-righteous folks. Please join with me in prayer. Dear Holy Spirit, please help to guide me from my old prideful ways. Lord, I want to follow your ways now, your laws. Thank you, Jesus, for your amazing grace, dying for me, a sinner, and washing away all my sins. Dear God, please help me, help my heart, my mind, love you more and more each day. You are an amazing, wonderful, almighty God, my God. Amen. Well, please join with me for next week's show entitled Revisiting a Winning Constitution, Scaling Back the Government. If you enjoyed this show, please subscribe, like, and share it with someone you think would benefit 
or enjoy it. And for those of you who are currently without a church group, please feel free to go to my description and listen to a weekly sermon from the Richmond Alliance Church. We also recommend our brothers down south, John MacArthur at Grace to You, and Alistair Begg at Truth for Life. Well, if you've just come to Jesus Christ or have been following him for a while, begin or keep up your daily habit of reading the Holy Bible. Be part of a Bible-based church and join with my friends and I in sharing God's truths, his ABCs about being Christian. God bless you.